Welcome to the lecture. If you want to become certified software professional and you want to accelerate your career, you want to stand out on the job interview, you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certification exam. How to take this exam and how to pass this exam, find out on the end of this lecture. If you find this video useful, click like and subscribe. In this lecture, we're going to show the next tool, and this is cross break. Cross break is a bend that is added to a flat sheet to give it more strength and make it more rigid. So we can add two overlapping bends. With those two bends, we can make stronger, a lighter and thinner material. And that doesn't change the geometry of the model. So let's show how this works. First, let's create some flat piece. So let's go to the top plane. Let's create a new sketch. Let's go with center rectangle like this and let's put some dimensions here. Let's go here with 200 like this and let's go here with 100 like this. Now let's go to the sheet metal base flange tab and let's leave everything as it is. Let's click OK. Now let's go here to the sheet metal and let's select here cross break. So here under cross break parameters, we have to select a face where we want to create cross breaks. So let's select this face. Now here we can see two lines that are crossing each other. We can change here direction. We can go to other direction like this. Let's click OK now. Now here we can see only those two lines. So here in the feature manager design tree, we have a cross break and here we have this sketch. We didn't change any geometry of the model. We didn't make any changes to the physical model. These breaks are only visible in the 2D drawing and the bent radius and the angle will be only shown in the 2D drawing for the manufacturing. So let's go here to the cross break again, edit feature. Down here we have break radius and here we have break angle and they will be only shown in the drawing. As well here we have an option that we can go with the edit cross profile. So now we can see that the sketch is valid. Now if I select this point, I can delete this coincident like this. Now I can move this line somewhere here. Now we can see that here we have a message that our end point of the cross break is not on the face edge. So this point must be on the edge. So let's go here. Let's put it on the edge like this. And now we can see that the sketch is valid. Let's go with finish. And this is our result. Now we don't see any changes in the geometry, but now if we go here and we can create drawing. So let's go with make drawing from part assembly like this. But before we have to save the file, let's go with save and insert like this. Let's go to the desktop. Let's call it cross break like this. Let's save it. Let's go with a drawing. Let's click OK. Let's select here landscape A, this one here. Let's go with OK. Now let's go here to the R view palette. Let's select here flat pattern, this one here. And now as we see, we can only see those breaks here. And we can see here up 90 degrees radius five. So those cross breaks are only visible here on the drawing. And now you can give this drawing for your manufacturing. And now someone can read here, okay, I have to bend this up 90 degrees with a radius 5 millimeters. And we create those cross breaks to make it stronger, lighter and thinner material. So this is the last lecture of this chapter. In the next chapter, we're going to start to work with corners. Hey, my name is Alan. Thank you for watching this lecture. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. If you want to become a SOLIDWORKS professional, if you want to earn a SOLIDWORKS official certificate, then you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certificate exam. This can help you to get a better job, to negotiate a better salary, and to accelerate your career. In order to earn SOLIDWORKS certificate, you have to pass the exams. I have a courses that can prepare you for the exams. I have enrolled over 30,000 students. The rating I have for a professional exam is 4.9. I have preparation for solid professional, finite element analysis, surface, sheet metal, and drawings. In courses, you will find all of the tools explained, 
you will find exercises, examples, and samples exam. A similar one you can find on the real exam. Right now, I have a special offer, and this is if you buy one course for $10, you will get one course for free that you want. As well, if you refer any course to someone else, you can earn 50% per course. This way, you can make passive income. So if you want to get solar certifications and you want to prepare for those exams, click the link below, check my website, and like and subscribe this video.